Because that's what I tell people on the phone. I'm like, you might have gas coming out of all ends. I don't know. Hey everyone, this is Narina, respiratory therapist at Lofta, and today we're going to be covering 10 side effects that you could experience on CPAP therapy. Number one, nasal congestion and dryness. You may experience nasal congestion and nasal dryness. This can usually be remedied by adding some distilled water to your built-in heated humidifier. But if you're prone to congestion due to allergies, it's probably best that you treat the root cause with an antihistamine if you're able to take one or some saline spray. Number two, you may experience mask related issues. This can be skin irritation or just general discomfort as you try to acclimate. We always advise that you try to practice during the day or hop into bed a few minutes early so that you can get adjusted. In addition to that, if you are experiencing skin irritation, you can opt to use a mask liner and really make sure that you're not only cleansing your face and moisturizing before bed, but also taking care of your mask supplies. Now, this is a bonus. Uh, this is something that I hear quite a bit. Is it addictive? It's actually not addictive. All you're receiving is pressurized air. Don't be worried. You may be addicted to feeling great during the day and not having headaches and experiencing CPAP or sleep apnea side effects, but in no way is the pressurized air addictive. Your airway also won't be trained to be stented open throughout the night, so just make sure that you're using your CPAP nightly so you can have those effects nightly. Number three, claustrophobia. Many individuals experience this so you're not alone, but this can be detrimental to get adjusted to therapy. Some things that you can try to do are cognitive behavioral therapy techniques. Maybe putting the mask on your face without the straps just so you have more control of how the mask is feeling is great. You put the mask on over your face and quickly remove it. Once you're ready, go ahead and apply your straps. You may wanna to talk to your provider about even getting a different mask style. Whether you're using your mouth to breathe or just your nose, there are more minimal styles of each different type of mask. Number four, aerophasia. This is a really clinical term for excessive gas. This means that you can feel bloated and have painful stomach cramps. This also means that you could be burping or air coming out the other end. So if that's occurring, you can always talk to your provider about either adjusting your comfort settings or trying to bring down the pressures that you're on. So that way you're still treating your apnea effectively, but not dealing with those side effects. Number five, dry mouth. Air escaping through the mouth can lead to oral dryness. Um, in addition to this, you can also get oral dryness because you need to adjust your humidifier settings. Let's talk to your healthcare provider about maybe setting you up with a chin strap so that your mouth is not falling open as aggressively or adjusting your humidifier settings. If you're using a nasal mask, you may benefit from switching to a full face mask. So that way you can actually use your mouth to breathe. If you're using a nasal mask and your mouth is opening, the air is rushing out of your mouth instead of reaching the airway. So it can lead to a lot of discomfort, but it can also make your therapy less effective. Number six, skin irritation. Prolonged use of your mask can lead to some pressure sores or just general discomfort, maybe some breaking out or even dryness on your face. It's gonna be super important, again, that you're moisturizing, cleansing your face, cleansing the mask, but also maybe opting into mask liners. Uh, in addition to that, you can also see if you like two different masks and kind of switch between the two so that they're hitting different pressure points. Number seven. <laughs> okay. Number seven, headaches. You might be experiencing headaches from your CPAP mask, maybe being over tightened or maybe just getting used to the high pressures. You can always talk to your healthcare provider to see if lowering pressures may be helpful, but you can also check to see if you're over tightening your mask. Usually if you have mask lines on your face that won't go away in the first 30 minutes of waking up, um, that usually indicates that you should loosen your mask a little bit. In addition, if you're still experiencing headaches that kind of feel like you're not sleeping well, if you're a new user, that's totally normal because you are getting adjusted to a mask on your face. However, if you've been using CPAP for a while and you're still dealing with headaches and it's not related to your mask fit, it may also be that you're events are so little elevated and you need your device recalibrated. So if your events are exceeding five per hour, it's likely that you need a pressure adjustment or maybe another sleep study. Number eight, difficulty falling asleep. This is really common for people that are just getting adjusted to therapy or just starting. So again, we probably wanna utilize some daytime practice or even practicing a bit before bed so that we can get adjusted. 
If you're waking up constantly and you are getting sick of your machine, it's probably best that you just remove it after you've used it for as long as possible. In addition to that, if you do have underlying insomnia and you have fragmented sleep or you've already had issues with falling asleep, it might be a good idea to seek a specialist out so that you can get informed on ways to treat your underlying insomnia. Number nine, noise disturbance. You might find that your CPAP machine is maybe creating some venting noises. So if you need to get a muffler for your device to make it quieter, probably a good option. Um, something else to consider is that you're probably still quieter than you were before you were on CPAP and snoring. So nothing a little white noise can't fix for you. <laughs> Number 10, eye and sinus issues. Dry eyes are likely occurring because your mask is leaking at your nasal bridge. It might be a good idea to do the mask fit test on your machine because you may be over tightening it or not tightening it enough. If you're dealing with sinus pain and this is new for you, you might wanna go ahead and check to make sure that your humidifier settings are accurate for you. And these can change from season to season. In addition to that, I know that pressure issues can also cause things like exacerbation of your ear infections. So if you're prone to ear infections or you have a current ear infection, it might be a good idea to have your pressures lowered or even stop using therapy for a certain amount of time. So that way the pressures don't make the ear infection a little worse. Um, so you definitely wanna to talk to your provider about that and get a second opinion. All right, so that covers it. If you're experiencing any issues with your CPAP, it's super crucial that you talk to your provider about getting these things addressed so that you can have some really nice, healthy sleep. If there's anything that you feel like we missed in this video, feel free to drop a comment so that way you can share with others and help everyone out. Thank you so much for your time. See you later.